Hello Internet, my name is Lave and it's another one from the BFI London Film Festival. I watched Supernova, which is the second film from writer, director and actor Harry McQueen, following on from his debut, Hinterland. His latest stars Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci as Sam and Tusker respectively, a couple in a long-term relationship trying to cope with Tusker's diagnosis and encroaching dementia. So they go on a road trip through England to visit places from their past and friends and family, trying to make the most of their time together. So there's quite a lot of recent examples of films that have tackled dementia, which vary in quality, but I think they should all come with a a warning like if you've been affected by dementia you might find this one just a little raw like me personally I've only kind of witnessed it from a distance like friends and, and family who have had it and this film still had me close to tears on more than one occasion I'm not ashamed to admit it both Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci are on Oscar worthy form here they're totally believable as a couple at ease with each other's pet peeves and shortcomings which they laugh and joke about and you get a real sense of their history together as they revisit significant places from their past and and gaze and talk about the stars and the universe which is obviously where the film gets its title from and I particularly liked the opening shot of the film which is a very understated visual effects shot of stars being born in the vastness of of black space and then right in the center you see one of the stars going supernova and as the saying goes the light that burns twice as bright burns half as long the astronomical theme continues throughout with tusker being a keen astronomer there's a particularly lovely moment when he sits down with with sam's niece and he he tells her about the origin of all of the atoms in our bodies and and anyone who's ever watched a, a carl sagan or neil degrasse tyson or brian cox documentary will know that it's true we are all made of stardust now these maybe aren't the most subtle metaphors but it is a reflection of where the film goes in the first act the first two establishes the characters as they reminisce and try to hold on to the life they have the third goes for the jugular as they have to face up and talk about the unspoken where they are going and what will be left behind once again be warned it is a real tearjerker it all works so well because Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci are just remarkable but also because of the dialogue you can tell it's just written from a place of of truth they have some really difficult conversations with each other and oh, it's just it's heartbreaking both have plans for the future and the aftermath both are trying to do what they think is best for their loved ones and it's just oh it's heartbreaking anyone who's actually going through it I, I yeah I feel for you I also really liked the the rest of the cast I think it's kind of inspired casting they got Pippa Hayward to play Colin Firth's sister in this when they pull up to the family home and she walks out you just know straight away that that's his sister i also love the cinematography in the film it really captures the beauty of the lake district in the uk now i've never been myself but i have been going on a lot of walks and bike rides through nature trails during the the lockdown and i really appreciate the uk countryside and, and when i was watching this i was like I can't believe I live in this country. I, I've, I've got to go and visit that place like, like right now. I don't have anything really bad to say about the film. I think it's supremely acted. The, the topic, although difficult, is, is handled sensitively and, and thoughtfully. The only gripe I have maybe is, is with the end of the film. Now, of course, I don't want to spoil anything, but I will say that maybe the film could have ended a scene before the actual final scene that's all I will say I mean it, it doesn't ruin the film by any means and I was absolutely in tears but maybe I would have preferred a bit more ambiguity I, I did gasp at one point but yeah that's all I will say so that's my thoughts on Supernova and pause the video if you want to take a close look at my enjoyment tracker now the film has a few lines of dialogue at moments in the film that really hit home for me both from Stanley Tucci's character actually there's a moment where he's talking to someone and he says you shouldn't be mourning for someone who who is still alive and and he's right because at that time he's he is compass mentis and saying make the most of, of now but there's also another line where he says and I'm paraphrasing it here he says 
when you're sad about something when it's gone, it's it's just a measure of how great it was when it was there. And I was like, yeah, that is so true. That is such a, a great line. Anyway, I believe this film is getting a general release in November. God knows if that's going to happen because of the pandemic. But if you do get a chance to see this one, I, I do recommend it. But be warned if you're sensitive, if you if you know someone who's going through dementia and, and you're a bit emotionally raw about that then yeah be careful that's all i'm saying but all in all a really terrific film and as always thanks very much for watching this review i really do appreciate it if you can give it a like and don't forget to share the lave subscribe